hectic dance move, that moeilijke moustache and that epic voice all go to account towards why he was, let me say, I think undoubtedly one of the greatest performers to ever walk the earth. And at the Bovin Ballet, they put together an exquisite dance performance to pay tribute to this timeless performer. Take a look at this. Queen at the Ballet captures the story of the great pretender, Freddie Mercury, told through the medium of dance. Set to over 20 of his greatest hits, including Who Wants to Live Forever, Another One Bites the Dust, Barcelona, and many more, viewers are taken on a journey through the fascinating life of one of the world's greatest singers. The show is packed with high artistic standards, innovative and original choreography, and powerful performances from a strong cast of dancers who use the athleticism of rock ballet in a high-impact production that entertains people of all ages. After two sold-out seasons in Cape Town in 2012, receiving rave reviews from public and media alike, Sean Bovin's long-awaited Queen at the Ballet will soon be on its way to Johannesburg for a limited season at the Joburg Theatre from the 26th of March until the 13th of April. Well, Justin and Alex from uh, the Bourbon Ballet join us this morning because they're going to they're be part of the cast that are going to be performing this Queen at the Ballet, yeah. which I think it, it must be very, very exciting to be paying tribute to one of the greatest performers of all time, right? Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, his music was timeless. His, his performance quality is timeless. And with us paying tribute, you know, we have to... We almost have to be just as timeless and, yeah. and as perfect and as unbelievable because he had such a beautiful voice. Yeah. Alex, when people think uh, of Freddie Mercury and Queen, they think the epic music that goes along with it, but you've now adapted this to a dance performance. How have you made sure that, like uh, uh, Justin just said now, that the crossover happens between music and dance? Yeah, well, the, the main idea is actually Freddie Mercury, as everyone knows, is the beautiful song, beautiful lyrics. So the, the actual idea is the ballet, but it's not like it's a heavy ballet. It's just yeah. like you need to be really concentrated. It's actually a show about to have fun. Yes. Yeah, so like for us on the stage. And it's a rock ballet, you know, it's yeah. a, it's a... I mean, that, that in itself is just a bit of a mind boggle, <laughs> yeah. a rock ballet. A rock ballet, it's yeah. not something you yeah. come across every day. Yeah, I, I hear, hear that you guys are planning to take the show to Johannesburg as well. Yeah, we're performing oh, yeah. at the Civic Theatre, mm -hmm. the Nelson Mandela, the Nelson Mandela Theatre. Yeah. Well, yeah. What can crowds expect? I mean, there are going to be some big Queen and uh, Freddie Mercury fans mm -hmm. coming out there. What can they expect? Yeah, well, they're going to hear um, beautiful vocals by Angela Killian, Daniel Fisher and um, Sito from Wonderboom. Oh, yes. Wow. So we have some amazing vocalists on board, you know, and they, they are phenomenal performers, like, in their own right. They're yeah. all unreal. I mean, Wonderboom and Daniel and Angela Killian are all beautiful, beautiful <laughs> performers. Yeah. Um, and then obviously the 24 beautiful dancers that are on stage accompanying them. Yeah. And the beautiful music, lighting, sets. It's just a full package. It's yeah. just everything that, that a Freddie Mercury fan would want to see, paying tribute to his life and yeah. someone that was such a, a huge icon for pop culture. Yeah. Alex, preparation-wise, how have you gone about putting this show together? I mean, how many hours have you spent on many stage? Many hours. <laughs> We've actually spent the days. It's, it's six, I'm telling you now, it's like six. Yeah. It's exhausting. Six days a week, and it's about wow. six, seven hours non-stop and half, yeah. half an hour break. A lot of stretching, a lot of stretching. Okay, yeah. all right. So we're going to give you guys a break for now, but we're going to have a live performance a bit later on, so make cool. sure that you stay tuned for that. For now, let's check out the box office top five over the last weekend.